Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov with you again with Laravel Daily Team and our new demo project. Uh, we create demo projects from time to time to illustrate our Laravel experience, explain something and maybe shoot a demo of our quick admin panel, a Laravel generator for admin panels. So this is one of the projects where we decided to tackle the file storage problem. So we created some kind of a mini Dropbox, mini Google Drive, whatever you call it, with Laravel. So this is how it works. First I'll show you how it works, then we'll dive into the coding. So everyone can register. Uh, for example, I will enter my email here. That's a default Laravel registration, by the way. Laravel auth, nothing too special here. And you get into some kind of admin panel where you can create folders and files. So folder, for example, or quick admin panel for the project. And then some kind of client project one, and then for example Laravel daily for my blog, and stuff like that. And then in any folder you can dive into the folder and upload the files. You can upload multiple files at once with Ajax, so I will upload a few screenshots here. Uh, so yeah, three uploaded, save, and it should be saved and you get the links to the files. Uh, the One of the most important things here is the links. So you won't get the links that are just with that .png or something. Uh, you will be able to download it only with that URL if you see uh, below it's UUID based. So slash admin slash UUID slash download both here and here. So the system will actually check if you're logged in if you are the one that is owner of that file and only then you will be able to download it. So that's how it happened. So it's kind of a multi-tenancy. Uh, everyone sees their own files. And final integration is with Stripe. So uh, in, in a free plan, you can upload only up to five files. Uh, I think it's five files. And then you can upgrade to premium, which would be unlimited. So we use Stripe subscriptions for that. Actually, both modules are inside of our quick admin panel. So multi-tenancy and Stripe subscriptions. And this is how it works. You just subscribe here, enter your email, right. whatever actually, the testing card, the testing environment is 424242, provided by Stripe. You pay whatever the amount is, and then you get into that subscription plan. I hope it works. I think it should have. Uh, right. So yeah, now I have premium plan, I can unsubscribe at any time, and now I can upload multiple files and uh, without any limits. So this is how it works, and uh, you've, you can find the code on GitHub, um, and now I'll show you how it actually looks in the code. So next to the code, first thing I want to show you is uploading the files with this thing, Spotty Laravel Media Library. Uh, so where do I start? So in files create a blade file, uh, that's a simple file upload field, but with this thing, data URL, multiple, and then basically this is the URL, the route <coughs> that will uh, upload the files in Ajax form. And at the end, uh, we use file upload jQuery library, jQuery.file upload. Uh, and that actually goes back to this route, admin media upload. So let's follow that to the routes web uh, file. And this is the actual route for Spatty Media Upload. And we have one controller to upload anything. Since it was generated by our quick admin panel, we can potentially add more and more things to upload. So that's one controller for everything. And this is the create method. It so that's the thing that makes it flexible. We can pass model name here. So model name in our case is file, and then we upload the file via Spotty Media Library and return the files as added files as an array. Then what happens? Uh, then what happens actually? Yeah, basically this files controller, the store method was actually which actually uploads the files, not uploads but saves the file data. So we have file data in the array of file name ID, which are stored already in media table, in database table, which is covered by Spotty Media Library. And uh, 
we basically need to attach, we just create the file record uh, and then uh, for every file name ID we attach that file to the record it uses Laravel relationship type called polymorph polymorphic relationships uh, so for every file we generate a unique identifier called UUID uh, which represents the file so the file ID or file name wouldn't be visible anywhere and I will show you how it looks in the database now uh, yeah so file storage media media table so these are our screenshots uh, this is the table covered by Spotty Media Library and this is our own table with files and each file has its own unique UUID, folder ID and created by. So this is the column that is responsible for multi-tenancy, so which user has uploaded that file. And this is actually the unique identifier which will, which will be used for downloading. So file name. Uh, won't appear anywhere, uh, file URL, I mean this one, won't appear anywhere. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, let's take a look at Composer JSON. oh, Stripe thing. Right, so for Stripe, we use Stripe PHP, which is official library by Stripe, and then in our controller for subscription, uh, for subscription list, like what is your plan, we can update our plan, and this is what is called basically our own service, subscription service, with method save payment or actually what interests us more is create subscription so we this is the stripe stripe api resource package stripe so i don't, I don't want i won't get too deep but basically this is the thing what we need to know so stripe plan id should correspond to the id of your plan in stripe dashboard so in this case premium plan it's called premium and then we have to use Stripe token. Again, we have a separate, actually, we have a separate article on that uh, on Quick Admin Panel blog called uh, Stripe, I think it's Ultimate Guide to Stripe Payments or something like that. So I will link, into, uh, I'll link to that in, in the comments. Uh, but basically, this demo project to finalize the thing, it demonstrates our Quick Admin Panel functions. But on top of that, these three packages are most interesting probably to you so you can learn from here how to upload the files with Media Library and Ajax, how to use Stripe subscriptions and how to generate your UIDs. Hope that's helpful and see you in the next video.